somewhat of a conceptual record. It has a beginning, it has a middle, it has an end, you know, in the way that I think every great story does. I'm going to California with an I've been wanting to actually make a real roots record for a long time. I think like that really just encapsulates what I'm about. Like stylistically, there's a lot of subgenres rolled into one, and I think that's kind of how my personality is. I'm, I'm a very conflicted, confused, fucking troubled individual that has found his way musically. It has a very loose, like, kind of honky tonk, southern gothic. Americana, dark, funeral folk. It's hard to categorize for sure. Steve, you know, played drums, engineered and produced the entire thing. And when you have two people working in the studio and you have two guys that are essentially the heart and soul of the album. You really gotta wear a bunch of different hats. Getting to play drums on this record was a lot of fun because I had to step outside of my comfort zone as well. The first day, I was like, Damn, this guy's right up my alley. I love his voice, I love his tone of voice. He's a perfection. He wants it to sound a certain way and until we get that, nothing is done. I had to play percussion on some of these songs where there was no actual drums. Kind of put yourself out of that element and then really try and create a soundscape that filled out where the percussion needed to be. It's almost like going back to learning how to play drums again. It had to be right. It had to sound like it was supposed to. It's the record I've wanted to do for a while. I know what I want things to sound like. I have a very clear vision of that. And if it if it calls for a mariachi band, get them in here. It calls for you know accordion or strings or whatever. I didn't. I pulled no punches on this thing. Man, I thought my ideas were like pretty wild, the, uh, over the top instrumentation and all that kind of stuff. But I think you got to go for it. You, you got to be fearless. It's kind of been the hardest thing I've ever done. When you're making art for yourself, it's the most rewarding thing ever. I really just want to get the album in the hands of people that enjoy music and they want to experience it as an album. We're shooting for the release of the album. It's looking like it's going to be summer 2018. I'm going to be pressing vinyl. Not really interested in CDs, although I will press some and mostly just get some bonus tracks on, on there. And I'd love to, to play a very stripped down acoustic set, you know, and kind of like play them in a completely different way. You know, more of like, I guess, an unplugged kind of sense. No, I'm really happy we made a record this way because you know I wanted to record the instruments that I wanted to hear. In the perfect world, everyone would hear this record. They would hear just how much blood we put into this thing.